Here we have an Audi dongle. This one is the VAS6154. I worked on this very same dongle many times on our channel. I have a couple of videos working on the same exact unit. Audi dealership mailed this over. They actually mailed over two units and not just one. Every customer that brings in this unit, they are either an Audi dealership, they own an Audi dealership, or they work for Audi. Let's read what the customer wrote. No power to either units. So both units are not powering on. You can look up this device on our channel. We have a couple of videos working on this very same exact unit and they almost always come in for a USB connector issue. It's a $2,600 device. They could not make it a through-hole connector. They solder it as an SMT, surface mount, and those connectors fail. They are notorious for failing, every single one. A lot of viewers asked, why is that unit so expensive? I mean, you cannot even buy that unit right now. Technicians at Audi cannot even buy that unit right now. But why is the unit so expensive? It's expensive not because of the hardware, but because of the software part. You can go and buy a cheap $50, $60 dongle, but it's not going to work with the software that's provided by Audi. So you are paying for both the software and the hardware, and you cannot use the hardware if you do not have the software, and vice versa. You cannot use the software alone if you do not have the proper hardware. Let's take a look. This one here came in with a ripped connector right there. It came in like this. The other one still has the connector, but currently we are working on this one here. And it looks like the pads in the front are still good. Right? Check, check. Yeah, they're good. Unless they are internally broken, which I highly doubt, but we can test. Meter and diode mode. Actually, we can test from here. Where does this one connect to? Right here. Good. And this one connects probably right here. No, it connects all the way on the top. And this one goes to the back of the board. But we can still test it to make sure there's a connection. Ground and test here. We have a voltage drop of 0 0.8, right? 0 0.82, very good. And finally, we're going to test from here to right here. And the pads are good, no problem. Now, the support pads on the right and left are broken off. What can you do? Let's go ahead and solder that connector. I'm going to pre-apply solder on the front pins, but not on the sides. So that when we put the connector on, all I have to do is push with my soldering iron on the pin, and that pin is going to solder itself with the pad. I'm using the NF.MIDI pen, and the NF.MIDI pen is currently out of stock. We had 500 units that sold in what? In two months? When did I post the video on the NF.MIDI pen? They're sold. We have a shipment on the way. It may take two weeks before we get the items. You cannot back order this item right now, the end of that mini pen, but maybe we should enable that feature so you can back order one and we can secure one for you as soon as we have the shipment. We can ship it to you. But right as of now, the item is out of stock and you cannot back order. A very popular item along with the grinding pen and we're almost out of stock on the grinding pen. We have maybe like 20 pieces left. And we have a shipment on the way also. We are out of stock on the Aten Hot Air Station. We are out of stock on the uh, T3B soldering station. It's crazy. They're selling so fast, we cannot keep up. When we started the e-commerce business, we used to order 100 pieces of this item, 50 pieces of that item, 200 pieces of that item. But now we got to a point where we are ordering 2,000 pieces of this one item, 2,000 pieces grinding pen, 500 pieces at an hot air station. They take room. They take a lot of room. And that's why we are looking for a warehouse, because our shop cannot fit anymore. We can barely walk here. People trust what they buy from us because we are honest in what we sell. We do not sell anything that we do not use ourselves. Whatever we sell, it already went through a lot of testing on my bench, and that's why we sell it. I know how it works. I know how it's used, and if it's durable or not.
I mean, any tool can be misused and can break. But for the most part, every tool that we sell in here is a good tool without having to pay a premium price for that tool. If we look at the connector, we can tell that we have a ripped pad on the side, one on the left and one on the right. Let's get rid of it. And also some viewers suggested that I drill a hole. I make it a through hole connector. We can secure it with the glue when we're done, but not drilling. Talk is easy. When somebody's watching a video, talk is easy. Do this, do that, do this, do that. You do it. I do what I see fit. See, we don't have any support pads on the bottom because they are ripped off. But we're going to have to apply glue here and here. And we'll take it from there. Right now, I want to make sure the pins are aligned with the pads. Are they aligned? Yes. They are aligned. Check all sides. Perfect. Focus the microscope because I have three hands. Flux, the tweezer, the microscope. And I'm going to use my fourth hand to turn on my fume extractor. And then my fifth hand, like an octopus. Get the soldering wire and apply solder onto the tip. Good. Very nice. A nice, healthy, fresh layer of solder. And we're going to do the same thing right over here. See, we need to apply more solder. We cannot get away with just a tiny bit of solder. We need more than enough. We cannot apply any solder on the back because the pads are ripped off to the bones. Bad to the bones. But we're going to apply glue. We're going to apply a strong adhesive on the back here. And now we're going to press the pins on the pads. Like I said initially. And I can tell you the area is tight. But thanks to the NF dot mini pen. Very nice. Very nice and better than factory, right? Let's go ahead and test. Pin number one is solid. Pin number two is solid. Pin number three is awesome. Pin number four is amazing. And pin number five is wow. What more do you want? Now I have a glue, a liquid glue that we're going to try. I actually have about 12 different types of glues. I'm going over them and I'm testing the glues to see which one is good because we're going to end up carrying and selling different types of glues. So I never tried this liquid one. Maybe we can try it right now. It's liquid glue, so I do not know how it's going to behave. But we're going to apply a drop right here. And that liquid glue can actually go under the connector and secure it even more. Nice. I like it because it goes under the connector. It's liquid, it goes everywhere, and it can fill holes. Now, it looks like that glue needs more time. It's still in a liquid state. I do not know how long it will take to heal. In the meantime, let's go ahead and plug in power. Make sure the dongle is working. It should. There is no reason why the dongle would not work. And yes, we see all the lights and then we're going to see a green light and after a few seconds we're going to see a flashing blue light. I know this because I worked on them before 
Let's wait. Yes. Flashing blue light. The dongle is working. I'm going to leave this on the bench until tomorrow. The glue will harden and everything will be nice and solid. And we still have to work on the other one. It's probably the same issue. Every single one we got has the same exact issue. And then we can invoice and mail them back to the customer. I hope you enjoyed the video. Let me know what you think. Leave it down in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we'll do something else in the next video.